Today we're looking at Microsoft Forms and how to create a very quick mass assessment. So having logged on to Microsoft Forms, I'm going to click New Quiz. I'll just call it Mass Quiz for the purposes of this. I'm going to add a new question. It's going to be a multiple choice. If I come down and click on the three dots in the bottom right hand corner, I can choose mass. And what that does is it allows me to enter equation. It brings up a keyboard with all of the mass symbols I could need to enable me to ask a mass equation. So it's gonna do a very simple. click OK. It will then give me the correct answer and suggested answers, which is really useful. So I'm going to add all of those and it automatically selects the correct answer. I'm going to make it a required question and then I'm going to add another question. And what's nice is it gives other question ideas. And I could go through and continue to add a range of different questions. I think I'm just going to add very quickly. Is somewhere for them to put their name. I'm going to remove the mass option on this question. And then I'm just going to position that at the top of this mass quiz. So I've got two questions just to give you an idea and I've got the mass quiz there. And then the final question I want to add is a, oh, let's add one more question. I'm gonna add one more, which is a rating. Ask him how they found the test. So I'm happy that I've got my, my quiz created. Go into settings. So I want to turn off that the results are available. I'm going to release the results later on. So I don't want the results there. Anyone who fills in the form just to make it easy for me to preview it. Uh, and I'm happy to accept responses. Now I could have a start and an end date if I wanted to. So I'd set it for homework for them to do asynchronously, then I could set a start date and an end date. Um, and I could customize the thank you message if I wish to as well. So I'm happy with those settings there. So I've now got my questions there. Next thing I'm going to do is going to share it with anyone with a link can respond. So I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to open up a, another instance of Chrome. I'm going to paste the link in there. So this is what the students would see. So we'll just enter my name and rattle through and answer the questions and give a rating and then hit submit. So. I've got no feedback at that point as the student, but I've submitted my, my quick quiz at the end of my maths lesson. I can now see I've got responses. So if I go to the responses tab, I can get a summary of how the group answered. And that's quite nice. So if you were doing a face-to-face -face lesson, it'd be quite nice just to, to flag that up because it doesn't show who's answered what, but it gives you a quick visual summary. But now I can, Actually, I want to give them some feedback so I can go in and review answers. It will let me flick through, if multiple people have responded, it will let me flick through each of the respondents and I can give them some feedback. Now, obviously you'd give them better feedback than that, um, but 
you get the idea. You could go into each question and give them feedback. And then having done that, you could go review next and continue to re or review all of them. When you've gone through and you've provided feedback for all of them, you could then click post scores, tick the box and hit post scores and it would make the score available to the recipient. So we see if I do a preview, they'd get the feedback that you'd given. So it's a really nice feature. I think it'd be a great way to do a quick test, a quick mass check. I like the addition of the, 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 the symbols that make it much easier to, do, to add mass equations. So I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching. Please tune in again soon for more EdTech videos.